So Steve, 1-1 one, one with Orient today, what's your sort of assessment on the game? Um, didn't think we played well first half, uh, but we didn't test the keeper virtually at all first half. But um, they, played a, they, they played a system which has probably caused us as many problems as anybody has this year. And obviously we look to address that at half time and I think it worked. You know, I think we were a different team second half. Um, I think we played on the front foot. We weren't, they were getting out from one side to the other too easy first half. I think we stopped that and I think we were still very positive with the ball. And I, as I say, I've always said it, you know, we're a fit side and I think if we can get to we can get the last half hour of games and we're still in the game. I know we'll always create chances and we've got boys who are very forward thinking. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's how the game panned out, really. As I say, not good enough first half. Uh, but that said, you know, you, 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 keep, you keep a clean sheet at half time and you, you're always still in the game. And then uh, I just thought we dramatically improved second half. Positive impact from the substitutes as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, as I said before, you know, um, everybody's everybody's done well pre-season, so there's not many people haven't got a case to start. And obviously, there's things that went wrong last week that you want to try and remedy. And we thought that was the, the way to do it. And as you say, that the lads who who were left out came on and, and, and you know stayed to claim for Monday. Mm. And uh, what's your take on both goals today? I thought Luke's was a great finish. I, I think he made a great run. Um, it was a great pass through and well weighted. Um, there's a couple of times in this game where we, we, we picked the wrong pass on the last minute and or the pass had too much weight on it, but that was a perfectly weighted pass for Luke. Um, the keeper came out and there wasn't very there wasn't a great angle for him, but he's, 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 it's a really good finish. It's a really good finish and you know same old for their goal. You know it's it's almost it's almost a carbon copy of it's a different type of goal last week, but it's a second ball again that we've not been able to deal with. And um, you know I said the lads. We, We've thrown four points away in 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 the last seven days, and and we've uh, that's the difference in this league from being wherever we are sixth to to being second top, four points better off, and and we you know we can't carry on doing that, you know. But nobody nobody knows that better than me or the lads. Um, you can work away all week at it, which we do and we have, but um, ultimately it's about keeping your concentration, competing physically, and keeping your concentration, and, and you know finding a way to deal with it, and. You know, and luckily again for us, with a couple of minutes to go, it uh, it fell the wrong side of us again. Is that the main negative, or is there anything else? You no, would... of course you do. I mean, as I say, we weren't uh, we weren't under any illusions about you know first half we weren't brilliant at all. Second half I thought we'd done enough when we did take the lead. Ultimately, as well as Orient maybe played first half, they didn't they didn't score. So you take that as a positive, and you and you and you come out second half and we, we, we take the lead, and and then when the lad got sent off. Um, You'd like, you know, we kept it well at times, but other times we we, we, we give it away unnecessarily. But as I say, with a, with a really young squad, um, not making excuses for them. This is just a fact, you know. With a really young squad, comes comes a certain amount of naivety um, on the pitch, and and I just think some of the mistakes that are that are being made are just a little bit of naivety and lessons that have to be learned. And it's a tough school because, you know, you don't want to be learning lessons in the middle of a season. But when when you when you pull lads in who's you know playing in their first competitive league. Really, um, it, it's tough because, as I said last week, you know, there's a lot of them haven't. This is not natural to a lot of them. They haven't been taught how to defend for for five, six years. They haven't been taught about second balls. They haven't been taught about how to attack headers. Um, that's not what they teach um, at 23 level. So um, it's you know, it's it's learning on the job. And unfortunately, in the last seven days, as many good things as it has been, those are the two things that have cost us. Mm. Orient sending off happened right in front of you. What was your take on that? Um, you know, I don't want to see. I don't want to see people get sent off. But it was a tackle that their lad just couldn't win the ball. Um, the lad couldn't possibly have got hurt himself. So for me, for me, it's a challenge where I didn't think the ref had much option. He did catch Tinks. They were saying he didn't. Tinks has got you know a large cut across his thigh. Um, as I said, I don't want to. I don't want to see people get sent off. But they're the type of challenges that you know if you'd have caught Tinks. A lot truer, a lot further down the leg or something. Oh, it could be a leg break, and it, it was a just unnecessary challenge. Mm. And um, over the 90 minutes, was a draw a fair result? Well, I suppose if you look at what they say about the first half, they dominated the first half. I thought we definitely dominated the second half. But when you take the lead, um, you expect to be able to hang on to it. But unfortunately, it's another hard luck story, and we've got to go again Monday. The lads have got to lick the wounds. There's no point in sulking about it now. They have to learn the lessons. Um, hopefully, they'll have a look at the goal and, and whoever's. You know, whoever's man lets slip and hopefully won't do it again. But you know that's all you can do. As I say, you can work on it all week, but get them on a pitch where the game's going thick and fast, the adrenaline's flowing, people are moving. You know, in training you can you can set things up, but it's never a match replicated. So it's 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 very tough to to do that. Um, they just got to learn the lessons and learn them quick. Mm, it's a quick turnaround for Halifax now as well.
yeah, we'll uh, we'll assess them. We'll get them. Uh, we'll get them trying to tick over tomorrow as best we can, and, and uh, we'll have a look at um, we'll have a look if anybody's feeling any injuries, and, and if anybody um, is feeling it, you know, overly fatigued, and, and and we'll use the squad again on Monday. You know, Scott Barrow was on. Uh, sorry, <laughs> wish Scott Barrow was playing. Scott Bowden was unlucky to, uh, to to not start a day, but we know we've got him to come on uh, to come fresh for Monday as well, and with, along with a couple of others. So hopefully we'll have options, and hopefully the lads will not be too down on themselves because they've done a hell of a lot right this season and I've just told them that you know there's there's a lot more positives than negatives so far this season from where we were expected to be but it's just a pity that you know we could have been so much better it could have been a phenomenal start of the season really and it's at the moment you know I'm still I'm still happy enough but um, obviously feels like another defeat today mm, Halifax going very well and it's a tough place to go very very much so as I said they've, they've, they work really hard they've, they've had a really positive start of the season but um it's it's a place where we hold. You know, we haven't. The good thing about these lads, they don't hold any fear. They, they, they always believe they can, they can be in the game. You know, it's my and mine and Mickey's job to to get them believing that they can win every game, and I think they do. Uh, but sometimes it just takes that little bit of a momentum, that, that that one or two moves that make them think, you know what, you know, these lads aren't invincible. We can break through them. We have got the ability and the tech, technical uh, ability to get through them. So it's um, it's just a case of keeping them positive. Mm. And results like today to have a game so soon after is. A positive thing to bounce back. Of course, we need to win. We need to win on Monday, and then it changes things again. And that's 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 all we can focus on doing now.